There's no hope you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Hey guys, welcome back once again to Niagara Fire Corals. Today, we're going to be changing out the gearbox and motor to finally repair our Reef Mat 1200. Okay guys, we're gonna get into repairing this reef mat. This is the piece here that we need to remove. This is your, your gearbox and motor is inside of here. And as you can see, if I push the buttons here, mine has completely stopped working. And this is the actually gonna be my third motor in a year. Hopefully it's a fluke, but uh, I guess we'll see. So to start with, we're just going to remove the two connections in the back here. This will be for your sensor and for your communication to it. So you want to remove these. Okay, next up, we're just going to move this roll out of the way here. And what you want to get to is there's this red clip right here. This just pulls straight up. And when you pull this up, this gearbox is going to come out. No, I can't do this one. Well, I might, no, I'm not even going to try to do it one-handed because I don't want it to fall in the water. Just give me one second, and uh, well, I'll show you. So there it is. I pulled it straight up and off, and then this just pulls out. All right, and there we have it. This is the piece that we need to get inside of to replace that gearbox and motor. So I'm just going to give this a quick wipe down, make sure it's nice and clean, and then uh, we'll get out to the desk. I'll grab the couple tools we're going to need, and uh, we'll get to replacing it. Hey guys, I just want to say real quick here while we're getting things set up and ready to go, that if you want to help support this channel, the best thing that you could do is smash that like and subscribe button below. It really helps me in bringing the better content to you guys. I also want to take a minute here to let you know that another way that you can help support the channel is I now offer memberships. It's going to be a single tier membership and everything I'm going to offer will all be in that one tier. I'll link it in the description below. You guys can go there and check it out. A few things that you guys be able to get with the membership is uh, special avatars, special emojis. You're gonna get early access to my videos. I will be down the road releasing, say, edits or blooper reels, which will be only available uh, to members. This, of course, also will help support the channel. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, so I tried to get the best possible angle here for you guys to see what we're going to be doing. And we'll get right into this. It's not difficult, but I thought I'd show you guys. If you have a problem like this with your reef mat, this is one way you can fix it. Now, before I get into it, I just want to say the first time that this, this stopped working on my reef mat and I got in contact with Red Sea, they sent me this entire unit. Okay, so this is a replacement unit already. And this time when I had the same issue and I spoke to them, they sent this option, which is actually just the motor and gear case itself. And for reference, and I, I'll put this in the description below, but for reference, the part number is R35473. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that there. Probably not. Okay, that's the, that's the part number. This should correct our issue. Uh, it always seems to be the motor that goes on these. So, 
This is what we're gonna be replacing today and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. The reason I'm showing you this is if your reef mat happens to be out of warranty and you no longer have the option of Red Sea replacing it, to buy this piece right here, I believe the cost on this is approximately $130. And that's Canadian, obviously, Canadian dollars I'm speaking of. I think this is about $130 to replace. And like I said, it's normally just a motor. So if you were to purchase this, which any Red Sea dealer should be able to get this for you, to replace just this, these are about $30. So it's substantially cheaper just to do it this way. So just throwing that out there, guys, that's an option for you if your reef mat is out of warranty. If it's in warranty, contact Red Sea and they will take care of you one way or another. Okay, so we're gonna get into the removal and installation of the, the new motor now. So I already removed one can see here in my finger it's I know it's hard to see but it's a little rubber plug so there's rubber plugs now I got like a little dental tool I'm using here they aren't difficult to get out your screwdriver will get them out as well but you just want to poke these these corners out there's one covering each one of the corners and that is your screws so you can get into the case so we're gonna remove all four of these All right, we got all four of those removed. And inside, you're gonna have four screws we need to remove, which of course, they're all star screws or Phillips. So we'll just get in here, we'll remove these. I'm trying to make sure you guys have the best camera angle possible so you can see what I'm doing, but we're just removing the screws here. Okay guys, so we got all four screws loosened off. I'm just gonna get them all out. Put them with the plugs. Oh, they don't wanna come out. And then this back cover should pop off now. All right, so we popped the back cover off. Exposes the inside of the motor or the inside of the case you can see inside here there's where your motor and gearbox are here so all we're gonna do is you see this there's a little plug right here let's see if I can bring this in a little closer for you to see this little plug right here and it says matte above it we're just gonna remove this little plug and we're gonna just put that board aside there, okay? Once we remove this plug, you'll see inside here on the case of the, of the actual gearbox. We have three screws. There's one here, here, and here. We're going to remove those three screws, which are all also Phillips screws. Make sure you keep the screws separate, guys, because the screws are different sizes for the case and for the for the motor and gearbox. Your new motor and gearbox, they, it does come with the new screws with it, so you don't have to reuse these ones that you're taking out. I apologize, guys. It's tough to get in there with big hands. All right, and that's it. That's all it is to remove. You can see there's like a you guys can see in there 
There you go. So you can see here, it's, uh, it's squared off on the end of the um, shaft for the, the roller. And you'll just have to line up, you'll just have to line up this with your new one when you put it back in. And that's the only thing you have to worry about lining up. And then uh, you just plug it back in. I can smell already just smelling this motor, I can smell like the burnt electronics inside of this motor. So it's definitely the motor that's no good. Uh, no question about that. The gearbox itself still spun really well when I, would, when I had it in the mat still. So I don't believe it's an issue with the gearbox. I believe it's an issue with the motors. And I think that they're underpowered for the, the 1200 brief mat just because the mats are so much larger. And this is the reason that I questioned it to Red Sea because if you can see here, I don't know if you can or not, I'm trying to bring it in. You see there, this motor is for the reef mat 250, 500, and 1200. So it's the same size motor for every model. And I just, I, my personal belief is that this motor is not strong enough to handle the larger 1200 mat. And that's what the problem is. All right guys, so, that's all you gotta do, get your, get your motor and gearbox out. So we'll open up a new one here, and we'll get it reinstalled, and then we'll go test it out. So we got our new gearbox, and again, we just gotta line up kind of that, that shaft inside. You can just turn it on the other side. There we go. And then we're gonna re-put the three screws back in here. Like I said, the, the new one comes with brand new screws, so you don't have to worry about using the old ones. You don't have to over tighten them. There's no, no need to really crank them down. Just snug them up. All right guys, so we got our three screws reinstalled in here. And we're gonna just take this plug. We're gonna plug it back in. That's it. And we're gonna put our cover back on. We're gonna put our screws back in to the back. We'll get these all tightened down and then we'll go give it a try and see how it works. Alright guys, so just put these little rubber plugs back in over the screws. Okay guys, we got her all back together again. So we're going to take it back in the sump room. We've got it installed back on the reef mat. Let's see how it works. Alright guys, so reinstalling this back in is obviously just the opposite as removing it. We're going to put it in the power ports you know, to the same direction. And then this little red clip, once you put it through, make sure you get it all the way in. I want this falling off into the water and that's it. That's, that's all it takes to put that in. You reinstall your, your power and your sensor wire. back in place lock the roll into place and hopefully this will turn there you go guys we're back in business that's all there is to it 
in replacing your gearbox and motor on your reef mat. Now this would be the same same whether you're using the 250, 500, or 1200. Hopefully these helps you guys down the road if uh, any has run into this problem. Again, don't forget, if you're not under warranty, maybe consider going this route rather than buying this entire unit. It's going to save you a ton of money. That's it, guys. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you. And until the next time, make sure you take care and happy reefing.